Welcome back to Celebration Children's Church Online, boys and girls. I'm Uncle Leon. As, as you can see, boys and girls, I am super ready to go for my holiday. I so need my vacation. I don't even know what I was called to do this lesson. I want to go. Sh sh should I go? Sh sh should I go? I should stay. All right. It's okay. But you know what? Last week, we finished the What the Bible Says series, which was a powerful series. We got to learn a lot about what God says to us. And we got to learn about how the Bible is a manual for our lives. But today, we get to start a new series. Do you know what it's called? Can you guess? Uh, what, uh, mm, Dad, no. The new series that we're starting today is called Grow. Just that grow, all right? So we're going to take the stuff that we learned from our Bible, use it in our lives, and grow as better Christians, all right? And today we'll be learning about Daniel and how you were so determined to serve God. But before we jump into anything, you already know, Uncle Leon, we need the games. I've got the boys and the girls joining me today for a game. All right, guys, come, 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 come. All right, boys and girls, so representing the boys today, we've got Ivan and Tine. High five, Ivan. Hi. High five, Tine. Are you guys good? Yeah, we're good. Are you guys going to win? Yes. Amazing. That's the spirit. And representing the girls, we've got Olive and Izwi. How are you guys doing? Are you guys going to win? Yes. Ooh, the girls are ready as well. All right. So the game that we're playing today is very simple. You guys know it. You guys love it. All right. It's build the box. These two teams are going to build a box using these panels on the ground. All right. The team that finishes building the box first wins. I don't know if it's going to be the boys or the girls. I don't know. But the team that finishes first wins, all right? And takes away the first point of this series, all right? OK, let's start in three, two, one, go! Boys and girls, I hope you're cheering at home. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. Speed. Who do you think is going to win first? <laughs> Who's going to finish building this thing first? The girls are moving. Go, go. Guys, you're not cheering louder. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. All right. Oh. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Boys, 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 girls. Ah, oh, guys. This is super close. This is really close. And nobody's saying anything, nobody's talking. There's no coordination whatsoever. I don't even understand how these guys are teams. Hey. Who do you think is gonna... Oh, you guys are already on the... Guys, make sure that all the clipping items are clipping, okay? No cheating. Uncle Leon is not gonna take any cheating whatsoever. Who's gonna win? This is really close. Oh, oh. No, 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 boys and girls, this is really close. I really wish you guys were here so that you can feel the pressure that I'm feeling right now. You guys just jump in into your TV, into your laptop. I don't know what it is that you're using to watch. Jump in. I don't know how you, I don't know if you can do that. This re guys, are you cheering? I thought the girls were almost done. Seal, seal, come on. It's not sealed yet. Seal it. And we're done. The boys are done. done. The boys are done. The boys are done. Girls, well done. That was amazing. But the boys finish first. But there's something that I have to do. And this is the part where I love my job. I really love my job. I don't get paid, but I love my job. I have to inspect your boxes. I really said you have to check all your clipping items, all right? This box really looks nice. You guys finished last. What do you think, girls? It's, it's nice, right? And then the boys. Oh, you guys, you missed a few. Look at your corners. You guys, you miss. Look at this. Look at how they missed there. So boys and girls, I want you to help me judge. Oh, and the bottom part. 
So who's gonna win this game for this week? I am super sorry I have to do this, guys. I apologize. When you see me at church, please don't beat me up. But the girls win for this week. Well done, girls. Well done. High five, guys. High five. Thank you so much for participating. You guys were awesome. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for cheering. Thank you so much, guys, for winning. So now it's time for us to go back and jump in into our lesson and see Fireman Bob and learn a lot more about the determination to serve God. All right? Still, I really need to go to my holiday. Bye, guys. Fireman Bob, are you ready? Ready for what? Are you ready to go? Go away! I told you to pack your bags like 30 minutes ago. I've got my passport ready. Now it's time for me to just call Officer Ngulolo. Wait, 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 hey, Uncle Leon, slow it down. Explain, where do you want to go? It's time for us to go on vacation, I told you. Vacation? Oh, holiday. Look, that's why I'm wearing my summer shirt. We need to go uh, relax on the beach, come on, but build a sandcastle. Wait, 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 Uncle Leon. What? We just started a new series. Where do you want to go? We started a new series too. Ah, into so that means we have to stay. Yes. And teach the boys and the girls that new series. Oh, this series is loaded with lessons, boys and girls. I had forgotten about that. So what do I do now? This guy, you keep oh. on forgetting. So that means there's ah. no trip. That means there's no vacation. That means there's no holiday. Yes. For children's church. Put that Bye. passport in your pockets or even throw it away. You don't need it anytime soon. All right. Yes. So, okay, let's start our lesson now. Right. Today we're learning about Daniel. Daniel. Did you read the lesson? Mukoma Dani. No, not that Danny, not, not that guy. We'll Which one? Just, no, I'm we're talking about Daniel from the Bible. Daniel from Are the you Bible. saying Daniel was in the Bible? <laughs> Uncle Leon, no. what's wrong with you? No. Danny, no, in the Bible. Bible, which verse? This is so funny. Okay. Revelations? No, <laughs> Fireman Bob. I'm talking about Daniel. Do you remember the guy who was thrown into the den of lions? Oh, that Daniel. I'm not talking about the guy, the camera guy. No. I the, thought you were the camera guy. No, I know that guy is white. Okay, I'm okay, about okay, Daniel okay, okay. The word of God. Tell me more. What about him? This guy was amazing. When I say amazing, I mean amazing. I want you to say amazing. Amazing. All right. So right now, Fireman Bob, we're going to watch a short video which has got nothing to do about with about fire trucks. No, nothing to do with fire trucks, nothing to do with fire extinguishers. We're going ah, to learn on. more about Danny. All right, Danny, Danny. Okay, let's go. Danny, Danny, Danny. I'm in. God's story, Daniel. So part of God's story is about a guy named Daniel, and it goes like this. Daniel was a Jew, which means he was part of God's special family. But when he was a young man, a king called Nebuchadnezzar, let's call him Nezer, came in from the city of Babylon and took over. He chose the smartest, strongest, most handsome Jewish men to leave their home and come work for him in his palace. One of those young men was Daniel. Even though most people in Babylon didn't follow God, Daniel and his friends did. So they had to figure out how to obey God and serve the king. For starters, they had to go through a training program where they were fed royal food. The problem was, King Nezer had also offered that food to idols or false gods. And since they followed God, they wanted nothing to do with idols. So, Daniel had an idea. He asked the chief of the king's staff if he and his friends could eat vegetables and water for 10 days instead. If they got too weak or skinny, they'd eat something else. Well, guess what? God made them even stronger than the men who ate royal food. God gave Daniel extra understanding, too. In fact, a few years later, the king had a nightmare. Nobody knew what it meant. Daniel told King Nezer that he would ask God to show him. God did. After that, King Nezer adored Daniel. He even said God was pretty great, which was a big deal, because the king didn't even think about God before that. But soon, he made it hard for Daniel to follow God again. That's because the king built a huge gold statue of himself. 90 feet tall. Anybody who didn't bow down to it would be thrown into a furnace. This time, Daniel's friends were the ones in trouble. Their names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They told the king, the God whom we serve is able to save us. But even if he doesn't, we will never worship the gold statue you've set up. So they got sent into the fire. Well, pretty soon the king looked into the furnace and noticed that there were four men and they were walking around. An angel of the Lord was protecting Daniel's friends. They got out alive and didn't even smell like smoke. God didn't stop them from getting punished, but he did go through it with them. The king had never seen a God who would rescue like that. Afterwards, King Nezer didn't mind if Daniel and his friends worshiped God, but the king still worshiped idols too. 
So God sent him another dream, and Daniel told him what it meant. King Nezer would live in a field and eat grass like a cow for seven years. In other words, he'd go crazy until he realized that God is the only one we should worship. Kids, God doesn't want everybody to worship whoever they want. He wants everybody to worship him. Anyway, Daniel kept working for other kings of Babylon, even after King Nezer. God continued to help him understand dreams and visions. And even though he had to give a lot of bad news, Daniel did excellent work, and he was really well-liked by the kings. In fact, one king named Darius liked Daniel so much that others got jealous. They tried to get Daniel in trouble. But they knew the only way to do that was to make a law against God. They suggested that everybody pray only to King Darius. That made the king feel important, so he made it a law. Anybody who disobeyed would spend the night in a den of lions. Daniel kept right on praying, though, and when King Darius found out, he was sad. He didn't want to punish Daniel, but now it was the law. He said, may your God whom you serve faithfully rescue you. And guess what? God did! He sent an angel to shut the lion's mouths. Daniel served four important kings, and he followed God. But whenever it came down to obeying God or the king, Daniel chose God every time, no matter what. And even though Daniel had to do some really hard things, God was always with him. And that's the story of Daniel. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Daniel was taken to Babylon. He asked for vegetables. God made him strong. God gave Daniel understanding. Daniel's friends obeyed God instead of the king. They got punished. God rescued them. Daniel understood more dreams. He was the king's favorite. Others got jealous. Daniel obeyed God instead of the king. He got punished. God rescued him. Daniel served God no matter what. And that's a part of God's story. You see, boys and girls, I wow. told you. Wow. That guy trusted God. I was going to run away from those lions, Uncle Leon. Boys and girls, would you have ran away from the lions? That's an obvious thing, Uncle Leon. You, sh you shouldn't be asking that question. But why would you, you should ask him, but when, when were you going to stop? But why After you... five kilometers, probably. Why? Would you run away when you know that God is there with you? Because Ooh. God says it. He's there with you. Do you read the Bible, Fireman Bob? I, I do read, read the Bible, Bible Uncle right. Liam, but those are lions. All right, listen. Daniel refused to eat the food which was defiled because it was offered to the idols. And he said, no, 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 I'm not going to do anything or touch anything that has nothing to do with my living God. And I believe that's the same thing that we confess even today, boys and girls, all right? So he was like, you know what? I'm just going to eat my veggies. I'm just going to eat my fruits. And I'm bull, all right? Bull. Do you believe that you are bull? Because God says it, that you are bull. That is the growing part that we're trying to bring out in this series, Fireman Bob. Wow, that is when so powerful. When you trust God to that extent that even when you're thrown into the lion's den, you believe that my God got me. God comes into that den, he watches after, after you, and you start playing with the lions like how Daniel did. All right? So it means that each and every time you find yourself in a situation which is really, really hard, you just have to trust and believe that God got trust you. Trust right? God. Exactly. When you are in trouble with your teachers or when your father has been fired from his job, what do you do? Do you cry? Do you, does your father run away? No. You just have to trust that God got us, all right? Read the Bible and pray, all right? That is growing in Christ. Wow. And that is exactly what we learned wow. from this series, right? Wow. So this what, is so powerful. So what lesson have you taken out of this? Uh, I'm, I'm supposed to trust God. If I mean, Bob, you actually trust God. I do trust God. I, I'm Uncle Leon. I just teach you guys. That's what I do. This guy, for a living, he runs into a building which is on fire. And he saves people and cats sometimes, but he saves people from a burning building. Isn't that trusting God? I, I don't think you'll be trusting this suit or this helmet, but you'll be trusting don't God. Don't touch it, don't touch it. It's okay, I'm sorry, I apologize for that. All right, it's all about trusting God and allowing God to rest in our hearts, all right? So in this season, boys and girls, let us be intentional about serving God. Let us be intentional about reading the word of God. Let us be intentional about practicing our faith. 
as we get ready to grow into the Christians that God or Jesus wants us to be. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. And now I think it's a Amen. perfect time for us to pray, right? Don't we have a memory verse, though? Oh, we do have a memory. You see what you're there for, man, Bob? You are the best. Yes. Right. Our memory yes. verse, boys and girls, comes yes. from Daniel 1, chapter 1, verse 8. And it says, but Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and the wine, and he asked his chief official for permission not to defile himself in this way, all right? So this memory verse also says, when you've got your friends, and your friends be like, hey, 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 man, let's go and bully this girl, or let's go and steal this from this person, you will be like, no, 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 this is not godly, this is not Christ-like, this is not in the word of God, I will not do this. That is you intentionally choosing not to defile yourself with what is not good. All right? That, boys and girls, is growing in Christ. Wow. Amazing, right? Wow. Now it's perfect time for us to pray. I was actually planning to go to Chef She's kitchen from here, but... To I, steal? I don't have any money on me. No. But... It's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll buy something for you. Okay. Ah, thank you, Uncle Leon. Thank you so much. All right, boys and girls, let's stretch our hands. But I mean, Bob, Bow your head. Let's pray, boys and girls. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your love. We thank you so much for this day that you've given us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this lesson that you've given us. And we thank you so much for teaching us how to grow. We thank you, Mighty Father, for Daniel, who had the courage and trusted in you, Mighty Father. Even though he was thrown into the den of lions, he trusted and he believed in you, Mighty Father. We pray, Almighty Lord, that we may have that same faith as we go tackle our exams, uh, Father, or as we go and tackle and uh, face bullies at school, Lord, mm, we pray mm, and believe mm, that mm, you mm. are there with us, Almighty Father, in those situations. Yes, yes, and Lord. we pray all this in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody say it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So yeah. now that I'm no more going to the vacation, what are we going to do? Chef, she's kitchen. Chef, she's kitchen. Andy.